Yo, what's up guys? So, this is my buddy Shane. What's going on guys? What's going on YouTube? He comes from a little bit of a skateboarding background, but he's never really longboarded before, so this is gonna be a first time for him. We're gonna go over some tricks and some tips on how to start longboarding if you're somewhat of a beginner. Woo! So first things first is you're gonna figure out which way you ride, which he knows since he's a skater. Um, you're gonna take your front foot, and you're gonna kind of put it at a little bit of an angle here. You want your toe to kind of be on this concave and your heel to kind of be on this concave. Once you got your foot here, this is gonna be your pushing foot. You're just gonna push and then step right back on the board. Front foot. Yep. Right like that. Yep. You, you feel it in the pocket there? Yep. You feel can, it right yep. in the pocket. All right, left, now, right, left, right. What I would do um, is I would take that foot off for a second. Okay. Put your put stand over here on the board. Yep. Yeah, just like that. Now put your now put your front foot up there. Yeah. All right. So keep your foot there. Yep. Now you're just gonna push back okay. and just put your back foot on that board. There you go. Okay. There you go. Woo. Yup. Not bad. All right. So he's getting the pushing down. Once. There you go. Now you see his foot's a little too straight in the front. Yep. Turn it there side. you go. Turn it sideways. Now you can feel that heel to toe when you're turning. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Heel you you feel that? Yep. Okay. So remember when you're pushing, you keep your front foot straight. Yep. You push. And then once you're riding, you turn it and you get in your riding position. So your foot is straight. Push. Stand on the board. Pivot over. Now you're in riding position. That easy. Woo. And he, there he goes, he's straightening it out, he's pushing, he's pushing, and then he, he turns it back, and now he's in riding position. Too easy. One more demonstration. Forward. Straight. Nice. All right, so um, stopping is gonna kind of be pretty much the same thing as, as pushing. You're gonna be in the same stance. So you're gonna have your front foot, here. You always want to keep your weight on your front foot and when you stop, you're going to use your back foot up against the skateboard there, kind of like a guide, you know, to keep your, your foot flat on the pavement and you're just going to lightly press down. So I'm riding and all I'm going to do is just, just like this, just like if you were pushing, same thing. Got it. Foot's Got up it. here, just like if you were pushing, you could push okay. and then you can stop. Everything should be the same. Okay. So we're gonna get you pushing, get yeah. going, and then we'll get you to stop. All right, so. Put on the board. Put on the board, feel it in the pocket. Feel it in the pocket. There you go, Ho heel toe. Push. There you go. Now stop. Stop, all right. up. Boom, perfect. That's good, man. Oh, yeah. That's good. So now we're going to be talking about how you can get a little bit momentum before you start hitting a little downhill section like this. You see a downhill section like this, and to really enjoy it, you want to start at the top of the hill with a little bit of speed. So what we're going to do is, is just kind of like a run and jump on the board type thing. Here. A little bit of style. So it kind of, it would kind of look like this. Run. And get up. So... The key to this is you're going to step on with your front foot that you use to balance on the board when you push. This is the foot that you want to land on the board when you're running. You're going to stand, if you're riding, if you ride regular like me, you're going to keep this board to the left side of you, all right? Keep it to the left side. Take a step. As you drop the board, place this foot down. You don't want this thing to bounce and then do that, most likely gonna fall. So you're gonna place it down and step on like that. Secure it, hop on the board. So it's gonna be one, two, three. It's gonna be a three-step motion Got for, it. for a beginner, okay? All right, so three-step motion. Step with your left foot right on the board. Three yeah. steps. One, two, three. All right. Yep. So Shane here is attempting his first. So one. Yep. Two. Three. Ooh. Okay. So. Yeah. 
that front foot yeah you want to when you when you go to land you want to make sure that your board is almost flat to the ground okay because what happened there is you went to step onto the board as the board still, was still up uh, here yeah you know so you want to land on the front of the board but you want to land when the board is already pretty much on the ground you're trying to have that perfect timing yeah. One, two. okay not bad he's he's on there he's on there All right guys, so he's getting the hang of it. Just remember, when you put your front foot up onto the front of the board, most, most long boards have a concave and you want your toe to start going up on the top and your heel to start going on the top. So you can really get the feel of that edge and it'll help you turn. Yeah. Like my buddy Shane here is just started longboarding 15 minutes ago, not even. And he's rolling. He's rolling. He's on the board, he's going, he's turning, he's pushing. Once you learn those basics, you get comfortable on the board. You get out here and have fun on your first day. You get out here and do this a couple times a couple times a week, it's just gonna become like second nature. And you'll be riding no problem. You'll be cruising. You know? Gotta get my town. So we just got done longboarding, man. Hell yeah, I'm was, feeling amped. That was fucking good, huh? Yeah, that was... we're here at Tap Rock, going to get some beers, get some oh, food. Oh yeah. Going. All right, man, let's do this. Hey. Peace. Peace.